where headlines frequently scream about retreating glaciers, flourishing flowers in Greenland, disappearing Arctic ice and rising sea levels, we're constantly urged to act against the looming specter of global warming. Yet a vocal minority challenges the mainstream narrative, arguing that the significance of human contributions to climate change is overblown, a hypothesis derived from the intricate calculations of general circulation models. These skeptics highlight the overlooked natural climate fluctuations that have shaped our planet's history, pointing to ancient warm periods that defy straightforward explanations by today's higher CO2 levels. As the debate between human impact and natural variability intensifies, the question emerges, are we overstating our influence on Earth's climate system, or is the evidence of our role more compelling than some would believe? In navigating the complex and sometimes polarized discussions on climate science, we seek to understand the nuances, the evidence, and the differing viewpoints that contribute to our collective knowledge of Earth's climate past and its uncertain future. Exploring the idea that nature is much bigger than our current impact, how can we reconcile the importance of addressing climate change while acknowledging the Earth's resilience and capacity for change? The Earth's resilience. People who warn about climate change often discuss the possibility that humans might not survive if things get terrible. But are you saying that the whole planet and all life will disappear because of what we're doing? That's stretching it too far. Think about it. Our planet has been around for roughly 4.5 billion years. It's seen climate change is way more significant than what we're talking about now. To say human actions could kill the Earth is like saying a tiny bug bite could take down an elephant. It's important to remember we're not as big a deal as we might think. Nature is so much bigger, and our impact is pretty tiny compared. Take dinosaurs, for example. They ruled the Earth for about 180 million years. Then a relatively small asteroid, only 10 kilometers across, wiped them out. And if we think about something even more significant, like a massive star blowing up close to us, that would be an even bigger deal. But through all of this, the Earth keeps on spinning. It's seen life come and go and is pretty good at starting over. Even in recent history, the Earth has gone through significant temperature changes. Ice ages have come and gone, with warm periods in between. These cycles have shaped the Earth and its life, showing us that change is a constant here. Life's endless cycles. Our existence is all about cycles. They're everywhere, from the changing seasons, how animals move across the planet, and our daily sleep patterns. Humans have created our cycles too, like farming and even the economy. These patterns repeat over and over, shaping our world and the universe. The Earth's history is full of examples. Look at the ice ages. They've happened roughly every 100,000 years with warmer times in between. Even during ice ages, the climate could shift quickly, making it hard for life as we know it to keep going. But life adapts and finds a way. This back and forth between cold and warm periods has been going on for a long time, with the last primary ice age ending about 10,000 years ago. Understanding Milankovitch cycles, Earth's dance through ice ages, the key to this mystery was unlocked in the early 20th century by a Serbian mathematician named Milutin Milankovic. He discovered that the dance between freezing and warming over millions of years isn't random. It's all about the intricate ballet Earth performs with the Sun and other planets. Imagine Earth and its cosmic neighbors not as perfect spheres gliding on unchanging paths, but as objects in a dynamic, ever-changing cosmic dance. Earth's path around the Sun is almost a perfect circle, but not quite. The difference between its closest and farthest points from the Sun is about 5 million kilometers due to a slight squish in its orbit, known as eccentricity. This squish isn't static. Over a cycle of roughly 92,000 years, Earth's orbit can stretch even more, making the distance between its closest and farthest points from the Sun jump to an astonishing 17 million kilometers. This stretching and squeezing of Earth's orbit, influenced by the gravitational tugs from other planets, plays a huge part in shifting Earth between ice ages and warmer periods. Exploring Earth's wobbly path. Did you know Earth is a bit like a wobbling spinning top? This wobble isn't just for show, it plays a massive role in the dramatic shifts between ice ages and warmer periods. One key player in this cosmic dance is the tilt of Earth's axis, like the angle at which Earth leans as it orbits the Sun. It's tilted at about 23.4 degrees, but this tilt isn't constant. Over roughly 41,000 years, it rocks back and forth between 22.5 and 24.5 degrees. But wait, there's more. 
Earth also does a slow twirl on its axis, a motion known as the precession of the equinoxes. Picture Earth's axis drawing circles in the sky, taking about 25,800 years to complete one full circle. This twirling means Earth flips its orientation about the stars approximately every 12,900 years. Why does all this matter? These movements change how sunlight hits Earth at different times of the year and in different places. When Earth tilts more, we get more extreme seasons, hotter summers, and colder winters. A less tilted Earth gives us milder seasons. The shape of Earth's orbit also changes how much sunlight we get over the year. Together, these cosmic fluctuations tweak Earth's climate significantly, leading to long cycles of ice ages and warm periods. From ice ages to warm periods, it's all about the timing and alignment of specific cosmic movements that affect how much sunlight our planet gets, especially in the Northern Hemisphere. When the stars, or rather, Earth's orbit and tilt, align just right, we get interglacial periods when glaciers melt back, sea levels rise, and the climate gets more comfortable for everyone. Conversely, we enter glacial periods when these cosmic settings dial down the sunlight in the North. These are the times when ice sheets could win awards for their expansive coverage over North America, Europe, and even parts of Asia and South America. Imagine a world where sea levels are so low that the UK turns into a peninsula, a chilly home to mammoths and woolly rhinos. The temperature difference between these ice ages and the warmer spells is surprisingly small, only about four to six degrees Celsius on average. Yet this slight shift can flip our world from a frosty ice house to a relatively balmy greenhouse. Over the years, the idea that these Milankovitch cycles, named after the mathematician who figured them out, drive these long-term climate changes has gained a lot of support. Scientists have dug up evidence from ice cores, ocean floors, and cave formations that tell stories of Earth's climate over thousands of years, lining up with these cosmic cycles. But here's where it gets contentious. Some folks have tried to use Milankovitch's cycles to brush off concerns about human-caused global warming, arguing that it's all just part of Earth's natural climate rhythm. However, this stance struggles to explain the rapid warming we've seen in recent decades, unprecedented in the cycles of glacial and interglacial periods. Yet history might have a curveball. Even in medieval or Neolithic times, what if humans somehow nudged Earth's climate? It's a compelling question that challenges some assumptions about human impact on global warming. After all, if significant climate shifts could happen in just a few decades before the industrial age, what does that say about our current climate crisis? Let's dive deeper into history and see what secrets it holds about our planet's ever-changing climate dance. Otzi the Iceman and Earth's Climate Puzzles Remember Otzi, the ancient Iceman discovered frozen in the Italian Alps in 1991? His 5000-year-old mummified remains pose a fascinating riddle about Earth's climate history. Otzi wasn't on a mountaineering expedition when he met his end. He was far from being the alpine adventurer type, yet he was found at a dizzying altitude of 3,200 meters, struck down by an arrow. This scenario raises eyebrows, doesn't it? Let's rewind to 10,000 years ago, when the Alps were engulfed in ice. A few centuries later, a Neolithic man roamed these high altitudes, hinting at a dramatic warming period that cleared the snow, allowing for such high-altitude traverses between Austria and Italy. This shift wasn't gradual, but a swift thaw, more significant than anything we're experiencing today. And just like that, the climate flipped again, burying Otzi under the ice for millennia. This tale of Otzi challenges the notion that significant, rapid climate changes are a modern phenomenon driven by human activities. Earth's climate history is peppered with these abrupt shifts long before industrialization. For instance, there was a warm spell between 1,000 and 1,300 greenlit Viking expeditions to Greenland and beyond. Or consider the Maunder Minimum, a chilly phase from 1645 to 1715 that chilled Europe to its bones. Interestingly, in the 1970s, the fear wasn't global warming, but an impending ice age, with some even proposing to dust the North Pole with coal to stave off the chill. Despite these historical climate flip-flops, Today's narrative leans heavily towards a looming climate Armageddon driven by human activity. While human impact on the environment is undeniable, the story of Otzi and other historical climate events remind us of Earth's capacity for natural dramatic climate shifts. It's a complex puzzle, 
where human influence is just one piece amidst Earth's climate history's broader dynamic tapestry. The sun's role in climate change. The debate around climate change often seems like a tug of war between different scientific theories and interpretations. At the heart of this debate is the sun, our star, which has shown periods of low sunspot activity reminiscent of the Maunder Minimum, a time in the 17th to 18th centuries known for its cold spell. This quiet sun has led some to speculate we might be entering a grand minimum, a period of reduced solar activity that could significantly impact Earth's climate. The arguments are split. On one side, Milankovitch's cycles provide a solid explanation for long-term climate variations, but fall short of accounting for the rapid changes we're witnessing today. The global warming theory proponents argue that the current rapid changes driven by human activity, especially fossil fuel combustion, are unprecedented. Meanwhile, climate skeptics point to historical climate fluctuations without human intervention, suggesting natural forces at play. In this heated discussion, some potential players like volcanic activity and continental drift are often brushed aside. Some have dismissed volcanoes despite their potential for massive CO2 emissions while continental drift's impact is acknowledged but seen as too slow to account for current climate changes. Amidst this debate, the sun's influence on Earth's climate seems to be both acknowledged and underestimated. While some models account for the sun's impact, they might not fully capture its significance. The sun doesn't shine with constant intensity. It goes through cycles of activity that slightly alter its brightness and the amount of solar radiation Earth receives. These solar cycles could have more profound effects on Earth's climate than previously thought. A groundbreaking study from the National Center for Atmospheric Research has shown a correlation between the end of solar cycles and significant meteorological shifts on Earth, like the transition from El Nino to La Nina phases in the Pacific Ocean. This discovery suggests the sun's activity might influence Earth's climate more directly than we understood potentially explaining recent warming trends without solely blaming human activities. The ongoing climate change debate involves a nuanced interplay between human-induced factors, natural cycles like Milankovitch's, and historical events such as Otzi's era. The sun's underestimated role adds complexity to discussions, with questions about its impact versus human activities. Climate science's multifaceted nature, entwined with economic and political interests, challenges discerning the truth amidst diverse perspectives and evidence. Considering historical climate events like Otzi's era, do you believe natural rapid climate changes challenge the narrative of modern climate change solely driven by human activities? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button and ring the notification bell so you never miss our upcoming videos. Your support means a lot to us. Take care until the next one and feel free to drop a comment sharing your thoughts. See you soon.